Hi friends this is Mangala Prathap and Muralidhar in talking from India today i'm going to talk to you about uh, developing intuitive intimacy with the universal soul many of us ask this very question of how to develop an intuitive intimacy with the almighty it is extremely possible only when we organize ourselves in a big way in the uh, mind in other words our subconscious mind is always connected with the superconscious realm of uh, mind we are what we are because of our subconscious and i've been quite often telling people that your superconscious mind is the beacon light of all that your subconscious mind does your subconscious mind is somehow or the other uh, controlled or conditioned by your belief system and your belief system could be altered only when you consciously work on your id and then that id which is the the so called uh, the uh, superconscious realm uh, it it does you know create a road map for a change that is why we say when you reflect you change your change is determined the moment you start reflecting on anything on your own you don't need to really you know Uh, consciously uh, do something in order to change of course you need to do consciously after reflection but this very idea of reflective learning in life is being uh, you know uh, is is being a, a, a phenomenon which in wherein you get to know how the superconscious mind uh, guides the subconscious and conscious realms of life that is why we say if you want to influence anybody the first thing that you need to really look at is their belief system if you alter the belief system then the entire conscious realm of life changes and your conscious realm of life is always conditioned by the kind of thoughts which flow in your mind and whatever flows into your mind is streamlined by your activities by your preferences by your choices etc so learning to alter your 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 very conscious realm of life requires absolute clarity and you need to really make sure you you are all the time in self awareness your self awareness you know restrains yourself from creating unwanted connections and most of the time most of the time those who are associated with like minded people uh, get to know that they are capable of changing things channelizing their energy revitalizing their very self and getting to explore the very notions of life and love beyond the the uh, you know the so called uh the the uh, so called uh, you know conscious uh, uh, restrictions conscious barriers etc and many of our own ancient spiritual masters have had a uh, wonderful wonderful ways of exploring self beyond physicality rabindranath tagore has talked about uh, you know a human being living in three different realms he talked about physical physical realm of life and he talked about the mental realm of life or the realm of mind and then he talked about the spiritual realm of life that one has to scuttle across the physical realm and the realm of mind to reach out to the spiritual realm of life and for which you need to really be highly conscious of how to really channelize your energies how to accelerate um on your very 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 flow of uh, positive mental energy and i always think about spiritual magnetism which is the cornucopia of all the great success that these spiritual masters happen to enjoy and i would say uh, jesus christ was one such a ram a messiah who happened to Uh, create uh, the so called uh, a beautiful intuitive intimacy with the universal soul and that was the case even with buddha or for that matter the guru nanak the great guru nanak of sikhism 
and uh, uh, that was also one of the finest uh, you know uh, episodes in 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 bhagavad gita where you know, the lord krishna talks about uh, he being uh, you know everything that happens in this universe and i am sure if he could uh, tap the energy of 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 this boundless uh, love boundless grace flowing through these spiritual masters including prophet muhammad and and that is that is when you understand how life energy is conditioned by the the so called the universal soul and the universe is consciously constructing our identity it is always engaged with our streamlining of our thoughts with our desires with our intentions only thing is we need to align ourselves exactly with the aim of the universal soul then we become highly successful now with our success is calibrated deliberated actualized by the universal soul only thing is we have to live in conscious awareness of our role in the universe because our role in the universe is to be explored very carefully meticulously and we need to make sure that we get connected with the boundless universal energy then we become better for that what you need to do you need to keep on meditating that's very important for yourself and be in absolute stillness and then you need to really watch out the flow of thoughts and then fourth one you need to be consciously nourishing the the very idea of your identity and you should not get bogged down by the mundane challenges of your identity because your social identity and social challenges social problems etc are of no importance if you are totally immersed in absolute calmness with the universal soul that is why you know idea this very idea of uh, uh, being one with the universe is very important for meditators we meditate to become one with this universe we meditate because we understand we are not just limited to this very body we meditate because we don't really uh, you know accept we are just limited to the mind for a few people mind is everything mind is the ultimate author of life friends yes of course i do understand what they say but remember a mind authors your life when you get activated in the realm of mind and if you can be a great spiritual seeker you understand you can be the master of the mind that is why you know padanjali's yoga sutra happens to say what is in the microcosm is the macrocosm so your mind can be merged with the universal mind your mind can be can be always associated with the the great mind of the universe that is when you you understand your soul is part of this universal soul then you become the best in whatever you do and you achieve the best you actualize the best that is very important for your well being i hope this has been highly useful to you uh, if you want to talk about it discuss it you're free to talk to me wish you all success enjoy your day have a great day bye bye see you